see, I see my guys from Torrance County out there. I don't have my glasses on, so they're just kind of fuzzy out there. But, um, you know, I, uh, I, I will keep it brief, Mr. Chairman, because I think James said most of the things that need to be said. But there's a couple of things that I want to say, because, I, you know, we need to be enthusiastic this last, um, what is it, 46 days, 56 days? No, 45. 45 days. 45 days. A month and two weeks uh, to change this country. And that's, that's what we're all about. And, and you guys, I know a lot of you all, and, and you know, you're the Democrats that are here uh, day in and day out, and year in and year out. And, and, uh, and some days I'm sure that you get a little bit tired and wonder why you got up so early on Saturday morning to drive all the way over here and all that kind of stuff. Well, we know why we got up so early on Saturday morning this year to drive all the way over here. And James mentioned all of our great candidates, but um, just a couple of things I want to add to what he said. One of the things that I saw, and we, in the Attorney General's office, one of our uh, big goals is to try and protect citizens against all kinds of scams and frauds and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, sometimes the scams and frauds are done by people in the shadows. Sometimes the scams and frauds are done by people at very high levels in government. There you go. <laughs> and this, this, this economy, the things that are happening with, uh, you know, in the, in the mortgage field, um, you know, I want to say that uh, that we do have a, a clear choice this year at the, at the presidential level. We have suffered, particularly this last few years, under uh, the Bush administration policies that have led us to the brink of economic disaster. And we need yeah. to make sure that we get out and tell our people and our voters and such to get that message out. But I heard this just this week on the television. They were talking about, uh, you know, a $65 billion to, to bail out AIG. And they had to. I mean, because... $80 billion, whatever. But I, the number I'm going to give you is even scarier than that. The, the, this person on the television said, if you add up all of the amounts of money, taxpayers' money, our money, that have had been used to, to keep the economy from totally tanking and making them look totally bad, $800 billion that this administration's had to put into bailing out our economy from their bad choices and from their bad decisions. And, and so when they run an ad that says, oh, you have to worry about Obama because he's going to raise taxes on the middle class, they don't talk about that $800 billion that they've had to put in this year to, to just to keep our economy from going in the toilet. And we really need to get that message out that this is that John McCain represents more of the same and Barack Obama represents change for this country and the right kind of change for this country. So don't forget to get out and tell your friends and neighbors that, that their vote counts more than ever this year and that if we want to get our com country back on the right track and back where we need to be uh, in, in international uh, politics, in international stature, in international finance, we have to have a change and that change has to be the Democratic Party. So get out there and tell everybody that